Hey, what's up? The Brew Dude is back here with another beer. So we're continuing this Modern Times Brewery Marathon. Today we have City of the Dead. This is a stout and it's brewed with coffee aged in bourbon barrels. Also, they use two row, dark chocolate, Munich, pale chocolate malt, midnight wheat, flake barley, C-170, carapils malt. The SRM on this one is 45, which is a black beer, as you can see right over here. 30 IBUs, and the final gravity is 1.018. So it's going to be a fuller beer. Uh, I'm, I'm guessing about medium. Beer with natural flavors. Hmm. Alcohol 7.5% by volume. So it's not a huge stout, but it, it, it seems that it's going to be a very complex one. So the appearance on this here is obviously dark, black, opaque, no light, anything. Brown head. It's creamy, almost as if it was kind of like whip, whipped. The aromas are coffee, a little lactose, kind of like milk. Sweet, almost like a coffee house, like if you're having a, some kind of cappuccino or latte. With a little cho chocolate in the back note. But the most important thing of all of this is how it tastes. So let's taste it. Okay. All right, so you're starting off with the coffee right up your nose. The coffee, you smell it, you taste it, the bitterness of the roast. And I don't taste so much of the bourbon, but they say it's Asian bourbon barrels. I don't get that a lot, but I do get some kind of a bitterness that's not hot bitterness. Whether it's from the coffee, whether it's from the charred bourbon barrels. I get something that's not hot. Mid-range, you're still getting the chocolate, the coffee, some bitterness from, from, from the cask or whatever that was used. And you're also getting a little bit of kind of lactose, almost milk flavor, right? Then it ends off grainy, kind of bready, like dark, dark uh, burnt bread. And a little bit of ashiness at the end, like ash flavor, which is not bad, which is really good for the style. Um, I have another one here. I mean, it's good. It's good. But it almost has that just traditional stout. I don't taste so much of the bourbon barrels. Um, it's just a good stout. I actually prefer the one that they had earlier, which is the uh, Haunted Stars. But it's a porter and it's 8%. It just had more of a better tech, a, a smoother texture, and more cl complex flavors than this one. But overall, they did a great job on it. Um, I got it at, to at Bevmo actually. I couldn't find this one in Total Wine, so I got it at Bevmo. It's okay. It's not the best stout I've had, but it is a good one. So if you're interested in something that's going to be sweet, kind of lactose with a little bourbon coffee. Um, you're not going to get too much of the bourbon barrel, but you're going to get a lot of coffee, kind of like a coffee house with some chocolate notes and the bitterness. Then you're looking for this one. You're not going to have a lot of hop characteristics in this. More of the chocolate, coffee, and bitterness. If you like that, go ahead and find it. Thank you for watching, subscribing, and liking. And with that said, the Brew Dude is out.